Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm back with more March 2023 LEGO set reveals. These are the Creator 3-in-1 sets, and I don't usually really love Creator 3-in-1, but there are a couple of sets that I'm very excited for here. Like, usually I like one or two of them, and that pretty much is the case here, but I do think that the ones I don't personally like are still pretty good. So this is the Space Shuttle. This is going to be $10 with 144 pieces, and I think that this looks like a great starter set. The $10 creator sets, I think, are fantastic for kids. Like, I remember getting some of these when I was a kid, and I would have absolutely loved something like this. Personally, I've always been more of a minifigure person, which is why I prefer, like, small city vehicles rather than small creator 3-in-1 vehicles. But I do like the alternate builds here as well. You've got, like, a little spaceship and then an astronaut, which is pretty cool. That's actually a decent build. I think that um, it's got it's got like an interesting like design, like the way it's built. It's not like any other Lego humanoids, which I think is nice to see. So yeah, so I think that this is going to be a fantastic set for uh, for kids that are just getting into Lego. And I mean, that's what ten dollar creator three in one sets should be. So we've also got um, this one, the magical unicorn. This has. 145 pieces, isn't that exactly the same as the last one? Also for $10. I really love the rainbow colors here. So this is a set where I'd be tempted to just get it as a parts pack once it goes on sale. I think the box art is really pretty as well. And then our alternate builds are a seahorse that looks like a very weird color, but it looks nice. And then some kind of bird. I'm not sure what bird exactly that's supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like a turkey? Because it's got like the feathers. Um, I don't know, but it looks cute. So... So yeah, I think that this one is also pretty decent. Actually, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Like, I mean, I liked the look of it already, but this is my first time looking at these in depth. This thing is actually quite adorable. <laughs> I, I think the colors on this um, alternate build work a lot better than the colors on the seahorse. To me, the seahorse looks a bit messy, but this one still looks pretty consistent. Um, and then as for other small sets, we've got this vintage motorcycle for $15. This is one that I would consider picking up. It's got 128 pieces. I don't know what makes this worth 15 while the others were only worth 10. Personally, this looks like a $10 set to me, not a $15 one. And I don't really like either of the alternate builds. Like this one barely uses, sorry, the one on the bottom barely uses any pieces. And then this other motorcycle just doesn't look different enough to the main one for me. Like it's too simple. So I think the main build here looks pretty good but I don't like the alternate builds like at all, and I think it's overpriced. So that's a little bit disappointing, but uh, but again, I would consider picking it up if it goes on sale. Although I say that about a lot of creator three-in-one sets and then I never end up buying them. Okay, then $20 set, we've got the exotic parrot. I think that this looks fantastic. I really like the animal builds. It's got 253 pieces and I think, I think that it's been designed very well. So I really like the flowers down here. And I think that the like the coloring on the parrot, like the plumage is like perfect because it's got like regular orange, it's got flame yellowish orange, it's got medium azure and light azure, I think that is. I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I never know my like azure shades for Lego. Side builds, oh, this fish is really cool. I love the, I love the leaves, like it does look like it's underwater. I think that that is a great build. And then the frog is pretty good as well. I think that's that's also great parts usage, using the leaves as like its webbed feet. That's really clever. Um, again, like the frog barely uses any pieces as is typical for like uh, the third build, like the C model of these sets. But the parrot looks really nice. Like like this would be a really nice little like creature display. And I think that this would like look perfect next to the tiger from 2022 that a lot of people loved. Um, oh, and the frog can even leap. Like, yeah, like, like this is the kind of, like, to me, this is like a perfect creator three-in-one set. So this is the kind of stuff that I think is really successful. Then we have what I think is a little bit creepy. These are the adorable dogs, but I just think they look kind of disturbing. 475 pieces for $30. I see what Lego was going for here, but to me, all of these dogs look very dead-eyed. Dead and this poodle looks, like, malicious. I think it's just because of like those pieces like over the eyes, but to me, it looks like it's scheming and plotting something bad. Um, I do like the accessories quite a bit. We have like a stuffed toy there. We've got a little comb like to brush the dogs. We've got a food bowl. And I think that that like bone chew toy has been built very nicely. But yeah, I just think that these are kind of scary. Um, also, did we really need three of them? 
like, I don't know, it's just, it's just something about the eyes to me. Like, Legos used those eye pieces before, but it's just, it's not working for me with these guys. Maybe if you made them, like, cross-eyed, that would be a little bit cuter. Um, and then the side builds are other dogs as well. Is that supposed to be, like, a bulldog or a pug? I do not like bulldogs or pugs at all, so I don't really like that thing. I think its head looks really messed up, although bulldog and pug heads are kind of messed up in real life, too. Um, is, I think this is supposed to be like a mini schnauzer, like just based on like the whisker patterns. Again, like its head looks unfinished to me. Like why, like the eyes look like they're bugging out of the head. Uh, this is like, uh, what is it? Like a wiener dog, right? Like the Dachshunds. That looks decent to me. Um, and then I think this is the best dog of the, on the right. I, I don't know what it is. I can't, I can't think of it right now. But I think that this one looks the best out of like these four side builds. But overall, I'd say I think that this is supposed to be a lab. I think that this one looks the best overall. I really don't like what they've done with the poodle. I understand like having the open studs like to kind of try to create that fluffy look, but I think it just looks wrong. Um, so yeah, so I respect what Lego was going for with the poodle, but it really does not work for me. So I mean, so yeah, like like this set, this set is fine, I'm sure, but even as a dog lover, I would never buy this because I think that they would just kind of haunt my dreams. Next up, we've got the Beach Camper Van with 556 pieces for $50. I absolutely love Lego camper vans. Like, I just, I like Lego sets with interiors, like lived in interiors where you can like play inside them. Like, that's what I really like. And so, like, if it's a spaceship, if it's a castle, if it's a pirate ship, if it's a camper van, that's what I like. And so that's why I really like Lego campers. I think that this one looks really nice. I love the shaping on the front of the car, like especially using this car door or this car hood like vertically. I think the antenna as window wipers is clever. It's something like it was done before, but it always works. I like the top where you've got storage for like that duck raft or float, which is built very nicely. And then I think those are supposed to be like paddle boards. That's very successful. Hopefully we'll get a better view at the interior. I like the chairs. I like the boom box. That is a good crab build. I like that a lot. I think that that's very successful. And then I like this side build as well. That's a pretty large side build considering how big the camper is, but I do appreciate it. I don't know if it's just like bathrooms or like changing rooms or if it's supposed to be a little house, but hopefully we'll see the interior of it. Um, and then off to the right here, we have what looks like an ice cream shop and a car. This car is an interesting build. I don't love it, but it does intrigue me. Like, it looks unique, so that's cool. I'm glad that it's, like, a new design. Um, that's kind of funny. They've switched... Sorry, they, I can't zoom in, like, anymore. But they've switched the heads on the minifigures to give the guy long hair and the girl short hair. That's kind of funny to me. Um, but, yeah, I think the ice cream shop looks decent as well. That's a nice creator-style sign build. And then this is, like, a little, what, like, beach outpost. I think that this looks pretty good as well. Um, like, yeah, usually the C model is, like, the worst out of all three, but I don't think that this one looks, like, any significantly worse than the ice cream shop, so that's pretty nice. Okay, let's check out this video. The interior of the camper seems to be pretty good because you've got, like, a kitchen um, and a dining area. Oh, and then these are not open around the back. I kind of expected them to be, so I still have no idea what's in there. Okay, I was right. So one is a bathroom and like one is a storage closet. That works well. I think it does set the scene nicely. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything in the camper besides, oh, there's a little TV up there. But I think it's just meant to be like a dining area, which is fine. Um, there are the minifigures with the swapped faces, which I think is, I, I don't think this hairpiece really works on a guy. Obviously, some guys do have hair like that. Um, but I think that like, like, that hairpiece definitely works on a girl, but I think that this one, it looks a little bit too, like, voluminous, voluminous, I don't know what the word is for the guy. Um, I like the tree here. I don't know. I feel like there's not a lot to say about these creator sets, so maybe I shouldn't waste my breath. I don't think there's any pictures of the interiors of these things, so we can't really talk about that. Okay, wait, this gives us a good look at the camper van. Oh, I think those are beds back there, not a seating area. So I like that. I like it when there's beds. So... We have two seats up front. That's really nice. We have a kitchen with a TV and a little and seats because you can take the seats out, right? And then up here, it looks like we have beds. So I like this quite a bit. This is a set that I would consider picking up. And I love how this kid is playing with it on... Um, I love how this kid is pretending that bubble wrap is like ocean. That is very imaginative and perfect for this set. 
I've saved the best for last. This is the cozy house with 808 pieces. It's gonna cost $60. And this one I think just looks perfect. I think this caught a lot of people's attention when it was revealed and I think that like the color scheme is on point. I really like the teal and azure colors used in the roof. I also really like just the one by one tiles that add some roof shingle texture. That is a great build for a snail. It reminds me of Gary from Spongebob who also used that cherry piece for his eyes. And like to me this just looks like absolutely perfect. Like, I don't really have any complaints just based on the exterior photos. I love this little trellis with the leaves coming down. I like the seating area outside and the kind of like walk out next to the front door. I think this could be hinged. Like maybe, like maybe you can close the house up. I'm not sure. Let's see. Or maybe actually, maybe it's not hinged. It doesn't look like there's a gap there. Um, the toys in the front yard look cool. There's like a train. I believe this is a power miners drill set. This is the giant squid from Atlantis. That's a set that I actually own. And I think that this is a perfect miniature recreation of that. There's one of those hideous creator dogs and what looks like a really bad car. I hate it when Lego builds cars like this because cars like this. Yeah, because the wheels are not like on the same plane of existence, which I think looks a little bit awkward. But let's go ahead and see. Ooh, that is a cool alter alternate build. That is a really cool alternate build. I like that a lot. Okay, I have to I have to get this set. I was like a little bit on the fence. I have to get it. This is also a really nice alternate build. This looks like maybe a one-story like cottage on a lake. And this is like a super tall. Uh, it's almost like a lighthouse because it's so tall and it's on the water. But it is obviously not a lighthouse. Um, but let's see what's going on here. It is, yeah, it is open around the back. Oh, no, I was right. It is hinged. So you can close it. Okay, see? See, I knew I was onto something. This interior, we've got uh, like a double bed with a little lamp. That looks perfect. We've got bowls in the kitchen, a little picture of the Golden Gate Bridge, uh, stools. And then on this side, we've got the kid's bedroom with a great printed picture. Uh, another printed picture down here. God, like every printed picture in Lego's repertoire is in this set. I really like this little living room. I like the kid's bedroom a lot. I think it's funny that the kid gets a much bigger bedroom than the parents. I feel like it should be the other way around. Uh, but like this archway is really nice. I am I am suitably impressed by this. Is it worth $60? I do not know, but we'll see. Here is a nicer image. I guess that's for the dog. Um, so I guess it's the dog's room and the kid's room. So that's nice. But yeah, I think like this is a really good interior for a creator set. You know, like there's plenty of detail. It does close up pretty nicely. Although wouldn't that cover up the window there? Um, I wish there was a window in the parents' bedroom. I feel like that just looks a little bit plain. I feel like like it could have squeezed in a small window. I like the drain pipe built using the candles. But yeah, overall, I just think that this is a very very successful set oh no sorry it doesn't cover up the window because the window's on the other side of course duh that's how hinges work um but yeah i still do think that there should be a window over the parents like in the parents room i think it would be really easy to add one in there so if i get this set i'll definitely modify it to include that um this is the interior of the log cabin or not log but of the cabin cottage thing you have a full shower or a full bathroom with a shower purple toilet paper a uh, plunger even then you have a little sitting area with, that's a record player. That's pretty successful, I think. This is really cute. I think that that looks good. And this one also folds up. This is this is really nice. Like this looks like a very modern house, um, but in, in a really cool way. Like I think that that is a really nice alternate build. And then this is the tall one. And inside here on the bottom floor, we have stuff. Is this like a mechanics shop? I don't really know what's going on there love the plants on the side then we have like a little art room maybe she's a painter because you've got pictures and like a palette up there then there's this weird little like half floor with nothing in it that's a, that's a little bit odd oh but also this set okay i see you can take this off and then connect it to the bottom okay so all of these go back to back that's pretty nice you've got toy storage upstairs and then this seems to be like a little home office so that's pretty nice and then yeah here you can take it off and put it back to back. I actually really like this alternate build. This this is a creator set that I would consider buying multiple copies of. I would have, I wouldn't buy three copies, but I would definitely buy one copy to have the main house because I think it's perfect. And then I would be and then I would buy another one. I would probably build the C model just to see what it's like, and then build um build this one and keep this one built, the the second model. 
So yeah, I think that the creator sets from March 2023 look great. I think that this one in particular is absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to get it. Let me know what you guys think about these sets in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.